Welcome to BVE 2016, the UK's number one broadcast and production technology event. I'm Melissa Porter and for the next few days I'm going to be live with Kit Plus magazine, the industry's most loved magazine. Now I'm here at stand N55 all day, so come along, pick up your free copy of Kit 5 and actually if you can take a peek Maybe we can use our poll cam to give you a good shot. If you take a peek at page four and five, um, four and five, we're talking about camera stabilization on page 55, which is perfect for any moving shots. Did you ever see the Rocky movies when they use the drones? Drones, we're also talking about drones on page 54. Remember, if you don't want to read the magazine, we're also available to read online at kitplus.com who is in my studio today with me. Welcome, Richard. Welcome. Where are you from? Tell me, tell me a little bit about you. Introduce yourself so to our 18,000 viewers, boys. I know. Set up straight, it's adjust yourselves. Well, I've done enough uh, TV interviews today. It's, uh, I'm, I'm well, uh, well adverse to it. So um, yeah, basically, uh, Global Distribution, we are a specialist distributor working primarily within the uh, media and entertainment industry. Excellent. You are on stand K30. K30, uh, so the centre of the show, opposite yep. the bar, so you can't miss us. For um, anybody wanting to tweet you, Richard, mm -hmm. anybody yep. that's interested or finds what you're saying yep. quite titillating, yep. what's your hashtag? So it's uh, at Global EU. At Global EU. Yep. And they will have direct access. Exactly. To send you questions. Indeed. So uh, yeah, we, we focus on a number of products from acquisition to storage to management to archive uh, throughout the production workflow. So and uh, some of those products that we distribute is uh, why I'm here to talk to you today. Welcome to the panel. Andy, okay. you are from Tally Technology. You yep. are the, the founder. Yeah. Tell yep. me a little bit about why you're I'm the here. the old boy. The old boy. <laughs> why did the world need another light? Well, you know, basically, I was working in broadcast for years, and cameramen on stage in a sound environment, they can't hear you. You know, talkback's great, but they really can't hear. So as a director, you're screaming at them to get you certain shots. They can't hear, so the frustration's there. The minute they get a shot, they hold it two or three minutes. They don't think you want it. The minute you cut to it, they move, and you get a wobbly shot, which, you know, it's no good. So. I invented the wireless tally system so that we give them a green light to tell them they're next and the red light when they go live and then out. Okay. So now they don't have to hear you. If they can't hear you, they wave it around till they get a good shot, get a green light, hold it, red light, live, out. Simple. Simple. Okay. You never get a missed shot. You never get a wobbly shot. We've got a range of two kilometers up to 64 channels, 64 cameras. wireless technology? Yeah, wireless technology, we're on 866 megahertz, license free. We're running on telemetry now, using a brand new Alpha 2 module from uh, RF Solutions. All British made, British designed, perfect. Good, okay, you are also with Richard on stand K30. That's right. For anybody watching this who wants to directly infiltrate your <laughs> genius <laughs> mind, what's your hashtag? As global, hashtag global. Yep, so that they fall under yep. Our, yep. our banner. So Tally uh, is, a, is a fairly, well, so it's a new product in its own entity. So uh, they've done a lot of good OEM work for, for other companies before. Um, and really, our relationship has now developed with Tally. We've known Andy and, and the product for a long time. Um, but it kind of came to a point where this is, has such a, 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 an influence on the way that people can work. You know, even to the point where Andy was talking about how Beneficial it is to cameramen knowing I might be the live next live shot, but also for the you know people being filmed. You know how many times have you watched a, a piece of programming where you know the presenter's got talk back or he knows people yeah. are saying which camera to look at, but you know the audience or the people he's interviewing are you know looking all over the place. Yeah. So, no, I you know, believe A you. green light anyone can follow. You just yeah. say follow the green to the red. Yeah. It, yeah. It's pretty amazing new so technology. But I want to yeah. know about Terry. <laughs> you own <laughs> Terry, you're a user, aren't you? You're, you own one of the biggest AV companies in the UK? In Essex, probably. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, I've got a fair amount of hire stock and um, some of our cameras have inbuilt tally systems, um, some of the more expensive ones. Some of the smaller ones, they didn't have um, inbuilt tally systems. So I was talking to Nigel from a company called CVP 
and um, he recommended Andy's Tally Technology System. So uh, we bought into it about two years ago two years when ago. it first came out. So we were probably one of the pioneers of, of, of buying Tally Technology Systems and we've had it in for uh, higher stock um, for two years. Um, and it carries on working um, and the, the after sales support from Andy and Richard at Global is, is, is brilliant. Okay, okay, so I have the, the Tally Technology Dream Team in my studio live <laughs> right now. Yeah, Charlie's Angels. So if anybody is watching this and thinks they have a question specifically for my esteemed panel, do log on to our hashtag, with our hashtag, our, what's it called? What's it called, that ampersand thing? What do you call you, it? You can you could well, tweet you the can, question or you, you can, can log in. Website. Yeah. Well, no, wait a second. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. Tweet me your questions at BVEXPO. Anything you specifically want to ask the boys. But I do have a question on our Twitter feed up first. OK, who's this from? This is from Ben in Wolverhampton. Who needs a tally? Hello, Ben. Nice to see you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK. Well, everybody, everybody, anybody can use it. It's, it's perfect from your point of view as a presenter, because you know which camera's live, and you know which one's coming next with the red and the green light. Your camera And how does that differ from what's currently on the market? Well, historically, studio cameras have always had a red light, so you know which is live. Yes. But what you don't know is, at this moment, that one's live, but the minute that one goes out, you don't know which one's coming next, so you've got a split second of nothing and you, and you might look left or right or hmm. but now you know because that one's live that one's going to be next because it's green you see i think a woman so. has designed this technology <laughs> that is yeah. genius so yeah. it's, it's really aimed at anyone doing any form of live production um whether that be you know actually a live outside broadcast maybe a sporting event a news event you yes. know local tv you know local news um but also say people filming in a studio on a budget you know yes. or you know, what is becoming increasingly more popular, which is disappointing some, is, is the cameraman-less environment where you've got automated systems where everything is controlled by robots. You know, cameras in this studio here are being remote controlled. Yes. Um, from the, you know, the director's eye, they have a, a switcher in front of them and that tells them which video feed is live and that shows them which one is going to be next, which one's the preview. So really what Tally are doing is passing that information out to you know, the presenter or anyone being filmed. Um, so yeah, it, any live production, it has a huge benefit too because it's technology that's not in the cameras um, and it's technology that no one else is, is currently offering. Um, but also the fact that you know, Tally are also going to be developing the system further so it becomes more than just a Tally. And where's it going? <laughs> so well, what's your next stop? The plays, you yeah. And obviously we've got the receivers, they're very small. And you can put that on top of your camera, or you can put it on your tripod leg and have an extension LED. So that's really small. And it'll just give you a little red light. So you can just put that in your viewfinder or up against you. You can hide your receiver, you transmit your receiver wherever you want. If you don't want to use your front light, you can turn it off and have just the back light only. So or you can have wired receivers, they're cheap as chips, and running on a Cat5 cable all the way back to your transmitter. So you don't have to be wireless. And because it's Cat5, a lot of these studios, you know, colleges, educational establishments, um, you know, broadcast facilities, everywhere has this, you know, Cat5, Cat6, Ethernet cabling are, are throughout their facility. So you don't have to run new cabling for this. The tally, the wired system can plug into an existing infrastructure within uh, a broadcasting or production facility very, very easily. I have a conundrum for you. So, for example, if we're going to incorporate one of these tallies on a pole cam, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's too far to see the light, yeah. what, what's see, the... But at the moment, the length of the pole cam, yeah, all we've done is we've got the receiver. Can we get a shot? We've I don't the, know if we can get a we've shot. We've got the, the receiver pole. right down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And we've we're got one of these. We're going to try and get a shot. Going all the way to the top. So right on the top, you've got a tally light, red or green, yeah. for us to see. Yeah. And down the bottom, the cameraman, he can see as well. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And obviously, if you're using a steady cam or a wireless camera with a microwave link, yeah. with wireless, two kilometer range, 
OK. So he's got tally. You're getting me very interested now. Yeah. I've got another conundrum for you. Okay. Go what happens if, for example, I'm filming alongside another crew and yep. I've got interference You won't have. Issues. You won't have. No. no. Interference projection is perfect. We're running four different frequencies. So we've got four channels, one, two, three, four. And we've got 16 cameras on each. So you can run 64 cameras if you want. Or if you do get another crew that's got a set of tally, you just tell them we're on one. They can go on two, three, four, and you can have four sets all running. Uh, here, we've got it on this stand. We've got it on Live Expert over there. We've got it on Global over there. So we've got three lots of tally all running in the same place. And mm. obviously in here, you know. There's an awful lot of uh, awful, wireless going so on. so much radio frequency. Mm. Yeah. It's surprising my hair's, hair's not on end. Well, mine yeah. is what I've got, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> what little is left? Talking about hair. Ter yes, Terry. I've, oh, I've don't got, pick on Terry. I've got, the, I've got the least hair of anyone. So <laughs> you, that's you know, yeah. tally. <laughs> my favourite co-presenters were Phil Spencer and Dom Littlewood. See, there's oh, a trend. Yeah. And now yeah. Terry yeah. from yeah. BBE. It yeah, works, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Terry, I want to know about the AV, um, the AV industry. What's hot for you right now? What, 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 what are you watching that is going to change um, the landscape? I've come here today to have a look around, do some networking, see what's new. There's lots of new comm systems around and things like that. There's, there's um, you know, tally technologies has come on in the past two years as well. So I've been looking at new camera mounts for them so they can go onto a, a wider range of cameras because, um, you know, people are filming on, on Canon SLRs and things like that now. So, yeah. And um, this is really kind of the, the what Terry's kind of alluding to now is, um, what the new feature which we're adding into the Tally system benefits to Terry's AV systems company, at the yeah. moment and other AV companies or anyone doing any kind of live production. Now, and what that feature is, is it's time code. So when you have a camera, you're always running time code. It's the, it's the clock of any video that you watch. And when you have multiple cameras, you have to have the same clock running on all mm -hmm. of them. The time code is the same. Um, now, the, the challenge that a lot of users have, particularly in the low budget now, they might be using cameras that don't have time code input, so you can't synchronize the cameras that you're using. Um, or you might be using DSLRs or small mirrorless cameras, which are now being used increasingly more and more for professional usage. And what Tally have added very cleverly is uh, the way of, through this wireless transmission that they have to their tallies, is to actually send a unified time code sync to all of those. So if you have... Um, external recorders on your, uh, your cameras, which don't have a time code input, which a lot of people do, because mm -hmm. that gets around the recording quality and the limitations within the camera itself. Brands like Atomos are, are leading the market in that. Um, those external recorders often have a, uh, a time code input. Uh, and that time code input can now receive a signal from the tally box. And that essentially means that um, the tally system can synchronize all of these cameras via their external recorders that wouldn't traditionally have time code. Or in the case of, say, Terry, where he has got professional video cameras with a time code input, at the moment, he's having to run long BNC cables across his studio to synchronize those cameras. It, but he's got a tally on the top. So he can now just run a short cable out of his tally into the camera and synchronize all of those cameras together so that all of those ISO recordings going on inside the camera are now in sync. So it, it's giving a... A, a, a brilliant solution to existing users of professional cameras, but solving a fundamental problem that budget productions have, synchronizing multicam shoots. So it basically means that you've, you've got the time code right on every ISO, so when it goes to the edit suite, um, everything, all, all of the cameras are in, in sync, basically. Yeah, smart technology in yeah. Essex. Yes. Yeah. Bigging yeah. it up for Essex, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Have yes. you seen them filming? What do they film there? The Towie. Only way? Towie. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I live in the Towie Triangle. You live in the Towie <laughs> Triangle? Yeah. Lydia, Lydia has a dress shop in Loughton High Road. Have they been tally tangoed? That's where they all dance around uh, the handbags. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't say that, do we? No, no, no. no, no, no. Have they, do they use your we tally? We love Essex customers. Yeah. Do they use your tally kit? On Towie. I don't know. They, they may, need they to, may don't they? If anybody's yeah. watching this. We did, um, we did um, Live in Essex. Um, no, was it Live in Essex? What was it called? It was Live in Essex, wasn't it? It was what, sorry? Live in Essex, wasn't it? The, uh, yeah, we did that series um, well, a couple of years ago. Yeah? And that, yeah, that had tally on the cameras. Yeah, I think it was a Monday night show. Is that congratulations or commiserations? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, hold fire for a few minutes. 
Welcome back to Kit Plus live from BVE 2016. Please do drop by my stand. I'm on N55, a little bit lonely at the moment. Actually, not really. I've got three fabulous boys around about to chat with you. But come along to stand N55 to collect your free copy for all your pro video and broadcast needs. Some excellent news and reviews. I'm interested in drones, and there's a big feature on drones in there. OK. Back to my studio. We've been having a little chat in the break, haven't we, boys? What is the most exciting show that your tallies have been featured on? Oh, my own oh. home movies. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? was that? Well, you know, I can't, I can't show yeah. favoritism of one show over another. Right. So obviously, we do some fantastic stuff. You know, festivals, top groups, top bands, top festivals. He's sitting on you the know. fence. Andy yeah. is officially sitting on the fence. <laughs> He's not going to answer my. Yeah, we can't name drop. Yeah. yeah. No, without right. client approval, it's very difficult to, to say which jobs. But there's some certainly very good programming from some. Well, no, I'm an innocent on broadcasters. the fence here. Yeah. Boys, tell me about this tally technology. Why is this so progressive? Why did the world need another light. Okay. Well, basically, it helps people like Terry. You know, Terry's an end user, does a lot of shows, and he needs his cameramen to know when they're live. I mean, some, some of the smaller cameras, like the Sony PMW 300, etc., they, they don't have a tally system built in. Um, and, and the hotheads that we're being filmed on at the moment don't have a tally system built in. There's nothing worse than a pretty presenter like you looking around Stop to see which camera. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Stop. So, so really, you want to know, you know what yeah. camera you're on with a red light, yeah. and you want to know what camera we're coming to next. So yeah. that, you know, when you see the red light disappear, you know what camera you're going to turn to next. And how I will know what camera to turn to next is I'll see a green light. A yeah. green light is... is Basically, yeah. things like a Roland Vision Switcher, which we use a lot of, has a preview, which is green, yeah. and a TX, which is red. Very good. Um, there are other makes of Switcher as well, which have the same thing. Um, and, and Andy's tally system integrates really well with those sort of switches. So, Andy, you are the inventor, the manufacturer of the tally. Yeah. Give us your elevator pitch. What, what's your USP? Um, well, the USP is the fact, obviously, that... Uh, I know as a director or as a producer which camera's going to be next. And the people in the gallery, they're the only people with the information. So the cameramen haven't got a clue. They just sit and wait for a red light. And if they happen to move just as it goes red, you know, you get a wobbly shot. So we give them a green light, show them they're coming next. We've got a range of two kilometers from the transmitter. Or we can run Cat5, Cat6, uh, wireless, uh, wired. The receiver is a little small unit like that. Sit on top of the camera. You've got front tally, red and green, rear tally, red and green. You can have an extension LED, and you can put that in the viewfinder, eyepiece, whatever. And when you turn it on, you just get a little red light, green light, easy. And you can put that and mount that discreetly if you don't want a larger unit on the camera. And tally also have the ability um to basically disable the, the front light. So if you're working in a, in a very ambient... Can we just say where you're from, Richard? Yes, you, you can are be. Richard from... Your, you're the distributor, yes. aren't you? So uh, yeah. I'm from Global Distribution, so we represent about 25 manufacturers uh, across Europe. Uh, and we've uh, come to a, a great relationship with, uh, with Andy. We've known him a long time to, to take his product to the next level. Because of the unique proposition that this offers customers, um, really it just needs to get out to the widest market possible, which is the entire broadcast and production industry. So uh, we, we, you know, we work with a lot of the, the key dealers all around Europe. Um, so we're going to take his product into those dealers to have more satisfied end users like, like Terry that are using it. And it's you know, making their productions quicker, easier, you know, of a higher quality because people are looking at the right cameras and they aren't kind of wandering off wondering which one's going next or having wobbly shots. Um, yeah, so that's really why we've come in. And the thing that particularly interested us to, to really get behind the brand um, is, is some of the new innovations that Tally are working on. And we're only going to talk about the one that we've announced at the show here at BVE, um, which is the time code. Tell me about the time code. So you have 18,000 people yes. watching me, this live stream right now. Exactly. We want to know about this time code. Yep. Is this new innovation, new technology? Uh, well, time code is... is 
industry renowned, it's that everyone uses it. Um, the problem is, is um, where you get time code from. So, for example, in uh, Terry's case, he has professional video cameras with a time code input. So to synchronize all of his cameras for his ISO recordings, he has to run a uh, BNC cable back from his switcher system and his gallery or wherever to all of his cameras to make sure they're all running on the same time code clock. Um, what he can now do with Tally, he has a Tally light on those cameras anyway to show which cameras are alive uh, or which one now might go live. But what he can now also do is, rather than run those cables, take a simple short cable out of the tally box into his camera and obtain the time code that way. So at the moment, we're generating our own time code on the base unit, um, which is kind of the hub of the tally system. But what we are, are then going to do is there will be a bolt-on product, which we'll release probably next quarter, which will allow you to ingest time code from a third party source. So in Terry's case, yeah, he'll Terry, have I want to know, does this make your productions yeah. more efficient? Um, it, it helps a lot in the edit if, if all of your cameras have got the same time code on them. Mm. If you just put a camera into record with any old time code, yeah. then the video editor has got to sync everything up manually before he can edit between cameras. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it, it saves time in, in post-production, yep. and time is money. Time is money in television. The low, you know, low budget filmmaking, live productions, everyone's cost sensitive now. Um, you know, you've got local TV productions, which are again run on quite small budgets. Um, so they might be using cameras which are not as good as the ones that Terry uses, which have time code on them. They're using cameras that don't have a time code input. But they might be using external recording devices by people like Atomos or other manufacturers that are out there um, that takes a time code input. So what they can do is take the video signal from the camera to record high quality ISO feeds and recording that will go to edit. But they can now synchronize those um, via the tally system. Whereas at the moment, as Terry was saying, it, in these low budget productions, an editor would have all of this footage and no universal clock across them. And that takes hours and hours and hours and days to sync everything up. And it has to be done manually. I've got one more question, OK? OK. To the floor. Uh, Ryan from Milton Keynes. OK, what are we going to go for? Terry, from a higher company point of view, how, we've done that one, haven't we? Forget that one, sorry, Ryan, we're not doing your question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Richard, why did you choose Tally to distribute? Really, because of the innovation that Tally have got. I mean, their Tally system, you know, a lot of cameras don't have a Tally, or if they do, it's quite subtle, or it's great for the cameraman, but it's no good for, you know, the subjects being filmed. Um, but with innovations that they've now got, such as the time code feature coming, and I can't talk about it because we're in development. But you know, they've got a really good roadmap. So, you know, if, if people, you get if so people, excited about yeah, something, you if, can't talk about so it. I, I'm, like, I'm covering him up. Uh, um, but basically, it's you know, time code is a great addition to the wireless system that that Tally have for showing Tally around. Time code is a really good beneficial into a single system. But there will be more features coming, which give cameramen, you know, they'll go, oh, brilliant. Another, another feature that I'll have, which just makes my life that little bit easier, or makes people like Terry's life a lot easier. Or Again, when you get on a shoot, you want to set up as quickly as possible. The less cables that you can run out, the better. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to stop you there. Thank you so much, all of you, you, for being a wonderful panel. Now, if anybody is watching this live, on their first or second screens. If you want to tweet us, B-V-E-X-P-O. Throw out any questions that you have. Tweet us at Kit Plus and do follow us at hashtag TV Bay. OK, that is another BVE 2016 live show in the bag. And I'll be back at 2.45 with GTEC. See you shortly. <laughs>